Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Welcome to a special edition of Newsbreak where we bring you all things Olympics. But before we get started, why not hit subscribe? There are no other options. If you want to get into skateboarding, now might just be the time because Aussie skateboarder Keegan Palmer has just won gold at the Men's Park Skateboarding Final, while the women's event saw two of the youngest medal winners ever, including 13-year-old Sky Brown. Here's Emma. You're looking at the two youngest Olympic medalists since 1936, 12-year-old Kokona Hiraki and 13-year-old Sky Brown. They picked up silver and bronze in the women's park event. Sky Brown's already a bit of a skateboarding legend. She's been competing on the world stage since she was eight years old and has trained with skateboarding legend Tony Hawk, who calls her a unicorn. Now, she's just become Britain's youngest ever Olympic medalist. But Australia hasn't done too badly either. Today, 18-year-old Keegan Palmer won gold in the men's event. It's the first time skateboarding has been part of the Olympic Games. I was very excited to watch the Olympics because there was skateboarding. And all of these skaters are helping inspire a new generation of athletes. Yeah, I'm trying to work hard to get to the Olympics, yeah. In about, like, a few years, maybe not the next Olympics, but maybe the one after. It's been a disappointing day for the boomers. The Aussie men's basketball team went down to the United States in the semi-finals, 97 to 78. The Boomers started strong, but the US were just too good. They'll go through to the gold medal game, while the Australian team will have to settle for playing for bronze. It's a position the Boomers have been in before, but they're yet to win an Olympic medal. Last night, Peter Boll finished fourth in the final of the 800 metres after leading most of the race. While he says he's a little disappointed, his family back home in Perth certainly weren't. There was a huge celebration. This is already gold to us, so we don't even care what yes. happened tonight. We're happy. <laughs> it's the first time an Aussie man's made it to the final in 53 years. 53! Lots of our Olympic athletes have already returned to Australia and are doing two weeks of quarantine up in the Northern Territory. One of them is four-time Olympian Emily Seabom, who won bronze for the 200 meter backstroke. Cal caught up with her to talk about the games. Hey, Emily, how are you going? I'm good, how are you? Great, thank you. First of all, have you got the, uh, have you got a bronze medal there? Yeah, just give me two seconds. <laughs> yeah, no worries. So it comes in like a, like a couple of boxes. So this is box one. So you take that off and then this one's like a hard box, whereas this one's just like a soft box. And then the lid is like a magnet. I look really heavy. That probably like, the heaviest metal ever, like I've ever had. Like it's so heavy. Like I reckon it's a kilo at least. What was the biggest difference about Tokyo 2020? Probably just the fact that, you know, we had to wear masks all the time, that we couldn't really um, talk to other people, which is so different because normally the games are very social. You're talking to everyone, you're hugging and kissing everyone. And yeah, there was none of that. So very different. Once you were there though, did it still feel like the Olympics? Yeah, it did. Like once we were there, like they have everything that we've had at every other Olympics. They've got the 24 seven dining hall where you can get food any time of the day. What was the food like? I think that's the question that everyone's was, lips. It was so, so good. Um, they had like a sushi station, like a Japanese station where they had guozo and dim sims and like so much good food. There's also like a pizza pasta station where it's just pizza and pasta all the time. What was your highlight of the games? I think my highlight was definitely uh, presenting Kaylee with her gold medal. I think nothing will top that. That's something that I'll never get to do again and um, that will probably never happen again either. Lastly, the 2032 games have been announced for Brisbane. Yeah. Um, so obviously there would be a lot of kids watching at home, watching this. Do you have a message for those young athletes? I think no matter what you do, just set your, your goals and try and get little goals every year, every six months, have a little goal that you can achieve. Tell your mum, tell your dad so they can help you along the journey because you need a team of people to help you. It's not just one person getting there like my family helps me every day so does my coach and so does my teammates so make sure you have a group of people that are that are there to help you <laughs> great advice well that's our olympics wrap up we'll see you tomorrow bye for now